Hello there folks and welcome back to the geodynamics video lectures on the topic of plate driving forces. This is the first of the lectures on this topic and in this lecture we'll talk about the essentials of thermal convection. And we have two goals in the lecture. First is to introduce the basic concept of thermal convection in the context of mantle and then we'll talk about Rayleigh-Taylor instabilities and what relationship they have to thermal convection. Now as we all know from introductory geology, the motion of the tectonic plates is essentially a consequence or is driven by convection of the mantle and that's mantle convection is essentially driven as a thermal process as the earth is cooling down. And you can see here in this kind of cartoon version of what's happening with mantle convection that we have areas of relatively warm material shown in red that are tending to flow up toward the surface and then of course areas of for instance subducting slabs that are relatively cold and sink down toward the core mantle boundary. Now this is simply one picture of how mantle convection operates and um, you know, the details of the convection of the mantle is something that's still somewhat controversial. There are essentially two main camps on the idea of mantle convection, those that are favoring the idea of whole mantle convection, where convection cells span the whole distance from basically the core mantle boundary up to the base of the lithospheric plates, and in other cases, model of two-layer convection, where the upper mantle is convecting independently, or um, the convection cells are located in the upper part of the mantle, and there are separate convection cells in the lower mantle, with the main dividing boundary being at about 670 kilometers depth, where there's a major phase transition in the mantle minerals. So these are the kind of two basic pictures of mantle convection and how we think convection operates. Now the question in this lecture is, what drives that convection? And as we've mentioned already, that mantle convection is essentially a thermal process, and so if you take any fluid and heat it from the base, it's going to warm up and undergo thermal expansion, at which point it becomes perhaps less dense than the cooler fluid sitting on top of it. So that's the picture that's kind of meant to be represented here, where we have one fluid beneath another fluid, and this fluid has a relatively low density because it's being heated along the base compared to the fluid that's sitting on top of it. Now, of course, this is a gravitationally unstable situation when you've got a heavier fluid sitting on top of a lighter fluid, the heavier fluid wants to sink and the lighter fluid wants to rise. And um, that's essentially the essence of thermal convection. Now in this picture what we have, another way you could refer to it basically is a Rayleigh-Taylor instability and that's when you've got a denser fluid sitting on top of a less dense fluid. Uh, and this is kind of a classic picture of the geometry of a simple Rayleigh-Taylor instability. So my question for you at this point in the lecture is what's going to happen to this pair of fluids with time? We have an interface between them here that's shown in the heavy black line. And what's going to happen to this fluid that's relatively dense sitting on top of the less dense fluid with time? So you can pause the video and think about that and uh, come back when you have some guess about what might happen. Okay, so. Let's take a look. What happens? In this picture, we've got uh, basically a series of pictures of time evolution of a Rayleigh-Taylor instability. The upper fluid in blue is more dense than the lower fluid that's shown in these sort of yellow colors here. And the initial geometry has a sinusoidal perturbation to the interface between the two fluids. As you can see, after some amount of time, the less dense fluid in yellow is starting to rise upward along the edges where it was initially elevated and the more dense fluid in the middle is starting to sink down. And simply what happens as this progresses is you begin to form um, a series of eddy currents along the interface between the two fluids and that's an interesting process in and of itself but the main thing is that the denser fluid in the middle starts to sink down and the less dense fluid on the sides is rising up. Okay, so short and sweet this time. Um, if you're watching the lecture in Moodle, as you 
probably are, uh, you can now go ahead and take the quiz and uh, come back and we'll talk a little bit more about thermal convection in the following lecture about the physics of thermal convection.